Hi, it's Carrie. Today the school children are visiting the Dinosaur Prehistoric Adventure Park Zoo. They're very excited. Today they're looking at herbivores. They'll be coming back shortly to have a look at the carnivores. Subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like dinosaurs. I'm wondering how many dinosaurs you can recognise. I'm going to talk to you about each dinosaur and I've written its name up the top so you can see how to spell it. To be one of the first people to find out about new videos, click on the bell icon next to the subscribe button on my channel and enable notifications. So let's get started. Polacanthus was a medium-sized ankylosaur from the early Cretaceous period. Its hind limbs are relatively long for an ankylosaur. It grew to about 5 metres or 16 feet in length. Its body was covered with armour plates and spikes. It lived approximately 130 to 125 million years ago in what is now Western Europe. Dacentrius is a herbivore from the mid-late Jurassic period and lived in England, Portugal, France and Spain. It was a large stegosaurian dinosaur, referring to armoured dinosaurs. It had paired triangular plates down its spine with four pairs of tail spikes. It had many similarities to the African Kentrosaurus, which you'll get to see later. The tail spike had sharp cutting edges on its front and rear side. Edmontosaurus lived during the late Cretaceous period. It was a hadrosaurid or duck-billed dinosaur. Its back legs were longer than the front ones, allowing it to move about on two legs or four. It had short arms, a long pointed tail, three toed hoof feet and mitten-like hands. It had a toothless beak with teeth in their upper cheeks and main jawbone which held replacement teeth. These teeth were especially strong for grinding plants. Argentinosaurus lived during the Middle Cretaceous period. It grew to 98 feet long. Argentinosaurus may be the largest dinosaur. It had a long neck, a long tail and a small head. It probably used its long neck to reach into conifers or sweep the ground in search of ferns and bushes. Once swallowed, the food would have needed to travel all the way down the neck before entering the stomach. Apatosaurus lived during the late Jurassic period and was one of the largest land animals that ever existed. Its small head had a long skull and was less than 2 feet or 60 centimetres in length with its nostrils on top of its head. The natural enemy of Apatosaurus was Allosaurus. Apatosaurus had sturdy legs with a single claw on the front feet and three claws on the hind feet. Its front legs were slightly shorter than the hind legs. Brachiosaurus lived during the middle to late Jurassic period. It was one of the tallest and largest dinosaurs. It had a long neck, small head with its nostrils on top of its head and a shorter, thick tail. Brachiosaurus lived on land. Most predators like Allosaurus and Ceratosaurus were half its size. Their best defence was their size plus their clawed feet and tail. Platosaurus lived in the late Triassic through to the early Jurassic period. Although it walked on four legs, paleontologists believe it could rear up onto its hind legs and use its powerful clawed hands to pull in succulent branches. 
Platosaurus belonged to a group known as the Prosauropods and was a relative, though not an ancestor, of the gigantic sauropods of the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. I'm going to save a bit more time here. Stegosaurus lived in the late Jurassic period. The tail was a lethal weapon. The four spikes could be swung under the unprotected belly of a predator with deadly force. The other name for them is Thagomizer. It's a distinctive arrangement of four to ten spikes on the tails of Stegosaurid dinosaurs. These spikes are believed to have been a defensive measure against predators and there's the little one. Gigantspinosaurus was a herbivore that lived in the late Jurassic period and inhabited Asia. Gigantspinosaurus had small dorsal plates and very long shoulder spines resting on a flat base. The plates on the neck are small and triangular. The head must have been relatively large with 30 teeth in each lower jaw. The hips are very broad and the forelimbs are quite strong. Gastonia lived in the early Cretaceous period. It had a flat and very broad rump, the belly strongly protruding between the short powerful limbs. The tail was moderately long but lacked a tail club. Notice the small horns at the rear skull corners and cheeks. The beak is toothless. Gastonia was protected by osteoderms. Entrosaurus was a stegosaurian dinosaur that lived during the late Jurassic period. It grew to about four and a half meters which is 15 feet in length as an adult. It walked on all fours with short forelimbs and long straight hind limbs with hoof-like claws on its toes. The longest spikes were on the long horizontal muscular tail and were used to actively defend the animal. Lexovisaurus lived during the middle to late Jurassic period. It was a medium sized member of the stegosaur family. Lexovisaurus had shoulder spikes and flat plates in two rows running along their neck and back and seven pairs of pointed tail spikes. Notice it had a very long tail. Parasaurolophus lived in the late Cretaceous period. The crest on its head could grow to 6 feet or 2 meters in length and may have helped Parasaurolophus identify males and females. It may have helped it with hearing and also to regulate the body temperature. Corythosaurus lived during the late Cretaceous period. It was a large duck-billed dinosaur from the Hadrosauridae family. It had a hollow bony crest on top of its long head in the shape of a helmet flattened on the sides. The crest resembles the crest of the cassowary and a Corinthian helmet which is where it gets its name from. Pachycephalosaurus lived during the late Cretaceous period. It was a herbivorous dome-headed dinosaur with a skull up to 10 inches or 25 centimeters thick, a tiny brain and large eyes. It had bumpy knobs on its snout and along the back of its skull. Pachycephalosaurus walked on two legs and was not a very fast dinosaur. Cetacosaurus was a herbivore that lived during the Cretaceous period. Its name means parrot lizard. It walked on two legs and was equipped with a powerful beak on its upper jaw. Cetacosaurus jaws were filled with self-sharpening teeth that would have been used for cropping and slicing plant material but were unsuitable for chewing its feed. Let's have a look what's under here.
Gala Ceratops is a genus of herbivorous ceratopsid dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period. It's closely related to Triceratops. Regala Ceratops was named for its plated frill, which is described as thought looks somewhat like a crown. Ineosaurus lived in the late Cretaceous period. It had a long, forward curving snout horn, two large bony horns on its neck and many smaller ones and bony ridges over the eyes. Ineosaurus was probably a herding animal like the other ceratopsians. I really like the colours on this dinosaur. Cosmoceratops lived in the late Cretaceous period. Its name means ornate horned face and it is very ornate. Cosmoceratops had the most ornate downward curving frill of any known dinosaur. The horns above the eyes are long, thin and pointed. They grow out from the skull and curve downwards. There is a hump on the forehead in front of the eyes. The nose horn is small and flatter on the sides. Let's put you back in here again. watching my video it really helps if you can share my videos on any of the social media sites that you like to visit see you again soon